this is JavaScript Room. My name is Yuri and today I would like to talk about migration from JavaScript to TypeScript. So if you have a JavaScript project, you would like to migrate it to TypeScript and you don't know where to start. So today probably this video uh, will be helpful for you. Uh, let's just go through together and I'll show you how easy you can migrate your simple uh, JavaScript project to TypeScript. So here we have a quick uh, Node.js application. So it's a server-side application written in JavaScript. Uh, very basic. Uh, we use Express uh, package to run a web server and uh, just one entry point and we return hello world. Uh, very simple one. And we have uh, yeah, just one dependency express and one command which is running uh, our uh, JavaScript file. So if we run it, npm start, if we run it, we see that server is started. Uh, let's check. Right, it works. Uh, okay, it works, but we want to make it in TypeScript instead. Uh, what we can do? First of all, we need to initialize our uh, TypeScript configuration. It, it's basically one single file, tsconfig.json, and uh, we can get it easily uh, with help of TypeScript package. Uh, I'd, I'll do it with the help of npx. npx is a command which executes uh, npm uh, package without, without installing it. So npm type script uh, dash dash init. So with this command, this command uh, will give us the tsconfig.json. It's already filled with the default values. Uh, you can play around with them in future. For now, we can simply uh, update a couple of parameters. For example, out here, let's make it uh, dist. So that me this means that we will compile our TypeScript to the folder dist. Uh, and uh, the resolving JavaScript files will be in the dist folder. And now the root dir, uh, we should specify here the folder where we will put all our TypeScript files. So it will be SRC folder. And uh, what else? I think, uh, I think it's more or less okay. Probably we need to uncomment this one. And that's it. It should work. And now we go to SRC folder and simply rename our file to TypeScript TS. Right? So, uh, if you're not familiar with TypeScript, how it works, we basically need to compile TypeScript to JavaScript. For that, we need a TypeScript uh, package, basically the package we used here. But we need to add it into dev dependencies. I normally add it to dev dependencies because we don't need it when application is running on production. It's just for development. So I'll do npm install dev development, dev dependencies, type script. Also, we need to add types for node and types for express. Uh, because Express doesn't have, doesn't provide uh, definitions, TypeScript definitions. So it's a separate package. All right, we have it here. And now we can basically, so, right, we need to update this. It will be running from this folder. And now we can add one more command build. Uh, what we need to do, we need to run TypeScript. Uh, when you add this package, the command will be TSC, not the TypeScript, but this package TypeScript is responsible for this. So TSC, and we need to specify the project, tsconfig.json. So something like this, 
and I think it should work already. npm run build. Let's check. Oh no, it doesn't work. Ah, of course, right, right. I know why, because uh, the settings by default they are already complaining that we didn't specify the types of these three parameters. Let's put it any for now, just for now, that it's not complaining anymore. We will get back to it right in a, in a few minutes. So if I do npm run build, yes, it's compiling to this file. So basically, as you can see, you can even just rename a file and use existing JavaScript code, it will be working. But you don't use uh, all the benefits of TypeScript. That's why now we should refactor. Let's uh, refactor it to TypeScript way. So we don't need to we don't need to use uh, require here because we can use import the modern syntax. Express uh, from Express like this. And uh, as you can see, it's already show us that it's an instance of Express class. And now we need to add here uh, request response and the next function. So it's basically types. So if you go here, you will see that it's an interface for request. So instead of any, we can specify here that request and we know exactly what it will be. Response and uh, next function. Right, so basically our TypeScript application should be ready. And uh, let's see. So it's built and uh, now we can npm start right server is started it works great uh, but uh, when you do uh, when you develop your project it might uh, it's of course better to have a dev command so you don't need to build it every time and then run it from the dist folder you actually can do that with the uh, node mod, but i suggest you a bit easier way so you can use the package ts node we need to install it. npm install fts node. Uh, so when we install it, we can just simply uh, simply say ts node src index.ts. So, oh, I know why you're complaining. Right, I need to open it again because I installed the dependency. The file has changed. Uh, right, we need dev ts node src index.ts. So npm run dev. Now we run the TypeScript file directly from src folder. So it's completely fine for development. But then when you uh, build your application, right, you build it to JavaScript and on the production on server, it will be running JavaScript file. Uh, so it works again, but the one more thing that TS node uh, doesn't support is the hot reload. So if we change something here and save the file, you see nothing changed. It's still running the old code. That's why we can uh, come up with a better idea. There is another package for that. So npm install dependencies ts node dev. So I sometimes use this package instead. So this package has a hot reload. And if we run it now, npm start, npm dev. Run def. So, hello, and let's update it. Hello world. Save, you see, it's rebuilt. And if we refresh the page, we see the updated content. So basically, uh, for 
like small medium project sometimes ts uh, node dev package is uh, enough it might bring you some problems with some advanced cases but for small project it's uh, working pretty nicely so that's pretty much all you need to know in terms of uh, start uh, your migration this is of course very simple uh, uh, configuration and a simple project but the, i think i hope you get the idea it's quite simple so you basically set up your ts config file and uh, rename your file from js to typescript to ts extension and you already can uh, run your application and you can slowly refactor it to use it a more advanced uh, typescript way so that's basically what i wanted to show you quick example of migration from javascript uh, from uh, javascript to typescript right uh, if you have any questions please ask me in the comments and thanks for watching see you later